Hi, this is Wojtek again, and today we are recording another video from the series Witnessing to Jehovah Witnesses. And today uh, we are focusing on this um, uh, scheme of watchtower that is called New Light. Uh, the governing body uses this formula of this New Light to just manipulate the uh, the poor uh, believers, uh, the poor um, great crowd uh, of of uh, Jehovah Witnesses who believe that uh, the governing body, the, the anointed one, is the only true channel between them and God, and only through them they can receive the truth. They use this uh, uh, this, this uh, new light uh, doctrine to tell them that uh, their information that they give them they change because they received new uh, inspired uh, light from God, and that's why uh, this all this. Is uh, not uh, actual anymore. The new is uh, that's what they should believe in. The whole problem is this: that in the Bible it was something that was called new light, but it was totally different um, that they try to present and and uh, adapt to themselves. The new light, it was um, gradual expounding of revelation of God given to man to make the old revelation brighter, more understandable, uh, and that's how the Bible was uh, written. If you read the Bible, you can... Uh, you can, when you start reading, you can know very little, and then you will know more and then more and more and more until the full revelation of God is completed on the last page of the book of Revelation. The Bible is a complete, finished revelation of God, and there is nothing to be added to it. And um, and every time the new light came to to the prophets, to those who were writing the Bible, uh, the books of the Bible, the new light was never uh, contradicting the the truth that was given first. It was just expounding the truth, explaining more clearly, and this is how the the Bible was created. <clears throat> so there was never contradiction, there was never, the new light was never contradicting the old light. The, the, the light coming from God was always truth. So if something would be contradicted, that means the old light would be not true light, but false light. And that was not the case with the Bible. But in Jehovah Witnesses' uh, scheme, that very often is the case, especially with their prophecies on the end of times or of coming of Christ or, I mean, all kind of false prophecies that they gave. The new prophecies, they were always contradicting the old prophecies, and this is not a new light. But today I... I'm going to read from their own materials, from, from Watchtower magazines and Awake magazines and from a few books, just to show you. Uh, first, let's start read from, uh, from Watchtower magazine uh, from um, December 1st, 1981. And this is in the article that is... Um, uh, the article is uh, titled, The Lights Increase in Modern Times. And this is what they say. 
The Bible rec record from Genesis to Revelation shows that the path of Jehovah's servants has indeed been as a bright light that gets ever lighter. Uh, in the days of Jesus and his apostles, many of the prophecies relating to the Messiah's uh, becoming understandable, uh, uh, even as Matthew and other gospel writers, writers testified. And the pouring out of God's Spirit at the Pentecost and the taking of the good news to the Gentiles were accomplished by farther in illumination upon God's Word. Actually, this watchtower in this uh, fragment uh, speaks pretty, pretty good truth that those who were writing uh, Bible were giving enlight getting enlightenment from God and they were receiving more uh, understanding and that's why they were writing the Bible. And uh, well, uh, in um, in another in another um, Watchtower magazine uh, that is in the um, uh, from May first, nineteen eighty seven, uh, in the in the uh, in the uh, article that is named uh, that is titled "What is the purpose of prophecy?" Uh, on a page. On a page six, uh, we read this. Um, the best avenue of preservation and of trans transmission to all nations is a written record. And the Bible fills this role. It alone contains God's inspired revelation and preserves the historical and prophetic account of his dealings with humans. Very true. And we go and read farther and it says, this is, this is thus the complete, inspired, written word of God. Since the completing of the Bible, those who have introduced new prophecies, religions, and sects could not be inspired by God. They, they actually testify their falsities. They say that the Bible is a finished revelation of God and no new revelation is coming from God and there's nothing in the Bible that can there's nothing that can be added to the Bible this is very true except all they do they constantly adding to the Bible new revelations new dates dates that never were predicted in the Bible and 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 nothing of that sort that they do but but in this uh, article, they they just state the truth that they themselves contradict. Uh, so let's go to the uh, let's go. Even though they uh, they actually uh, give us few verses in the Bible that we can go and and see that actually um, affirm what they just stated that this is a complete uh, revelation of God and, and no one can add to it. So here we go. We read um, in their Bible, in a, a New World Translation, uh, we read this. Uh, in Second Peter 1, uh, verse 20 and 21, we, say, we read this. For you know this first, that no prophecy of Scripture springs from any private interpretation, like the channel of uh, uh, the anointed ones. This, this, that would be, um, well, 
For prophecy was at no time brought by man's will, but men spoke from God as they were born along by Holy Spirit. You see, the whole point of this enlightenment, this new light that was coming, it was only during the time of writing the Bible. And when Bible was finished, the whole revelation of God is given to us in the Bible. There is nobody needed to explain it to us because we can totally, by reading the Bible, we can totally understand it and be taught by God through His Word. We can be reproved, we can be prepared, and we can find out all need, all, all what is needed for our salvation. And uh, if we go to uh, actually to Second Timothy in third chapter, uh, verse 16, uh, verse actually was, let's start with 15, 16 and 17 and we read this. And from infancy you have known the holy writings which are able to make you wise for salvation. The Bible itself can make you wise for salvation. You don't need watchtower. You don't need the governing body to explain anything to you because everything is given to you in the Bible and they don't need to explain to you and, and get new lights on this understanding because you get new light of understanding by Holy Spirit yourself and uh, so so uh, you can get wise for salvation through the faith in connection with Christ Jesus and now uh, verse 16 all scriptures is inspired of God and beneficial for teaching for reproving for setting things straight for discipling and righteousness in righteousness so scripture itself will give you the guidance will teach you that the man of god if you have holy spirit you are man of god that a man of god may be fully comp competent completely equipped for every good works it doesn't say after governing body explains that to you no it doesn't say that it says you can be equipped by reading the bible so here we go uh, let's uh, let's read some of their because some of their uh, uh, publishings because um i want to show how false is their teaching by saying that they have a new light if a new light is given then this new light would be expounding the old truth given would be just make it more visible there is never contradiction so watchtower by for years was teaching that the end of this world this world system will end within the generation that saw 1914 uh, coming of Christ moment. Uh, they were teaching this for years until they stopped and started to change the view on this teaching. This is total contradiction. How can you bring total date, the exact period of, of days or, or years, and then change it and say, uh, this is not exactly about this, this is about something else. This is not a new lie. This is contradicting the old lie. This is, this is showing that the first light was false light and now you bring another false light because once you set a false light then probably new light is also false but let's let's look at their teachings about the um, end of time during this 
generation. They started this in 1920 by bringing this great book that is titled Millions Now Living Will Never Die. Uh, later they changed for uh, Millions Now Living May Never Die, but this one exactly says Will Never Die. And then uh, on a page, um, on a, on a on a page number five, you, we have a title here. The uh, title of this um, article, it says, Millions Now Living Will Never Die. So this is the book which started all those teachings. And um, with this book, uh, after this book, they produced another book. Uh, that was book, uh, The Harp of God. And this Harp of God... Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but right here on the first cover, it says uh, it says proof of uh, is that pro proof uh, of uh, whatever millions now living will never die. Uh, it's hard to read. This is all messed up. It's a pretty old book, but this book is from 1921, so year after the first book. And on the on the first title page, you have uh, millions now living will never die. Uh, unfortunately, in the next uh, in the next, I have another uh, same kind of book, uh, the Harp of God, which was printed in 1929. The first page was uh, changed. And they didn't um, say it here. They said some different things. Comparing to this book, um, you see the same same uh, first page, and this one says millions. This one says not. But both books, both books, uh, on a page, um, the the first book from 1921 on a page uh, 333. Uh, it says millions now living will never die page 333 uh, and it explains why and all this and the other book uh, the same title but the older version from 1929 uh, it says on page 340 millions now living will never die so a uh, so little in a little slide on the pages 333 and 340 but on in both books you can find this teaching that will that millions now living will never die now let's go to a watchtower magazine i have those magazines they are bound in one year magazines uh, all the magazines from one year about together. Great thing if you can get uh, a witness to Jehovah Witnesses, get them they extra cheap. Uh, you can get them on eBay and you have a lot of informations, heresies here that you can actually show them. Uh, so in here we have uh, in, uh, in Watchtower magazine that would be from uh, that is from May 1st, 1967 uh, and this is the article uh, on page uh, 259 the article titled where are we according to God's timetable and then uh, this this article goes on and explains this and then on page 262 we read this this is actually this is actually um, not only prophecy that uh, the, the generation will never die, but uh, also it's a prophecy that the end of the system will be in 1975. So this is cool to show them. This is actually the thing uh, to show them. Uh, but I will read this. Um, the end of uh, the time of the... the Na title of this paragraph says on page 262, May 1st, 1967, it says this, uh, the title is The End of 6,000 Years, and it says, Jesus said that this generation that saw the beginning of this time period 
1914, when Jesus said this, um, that the generation in 1914 would also see its end. The generation that was old enough to view those events with understanding, so at least 10 years old, uh, in 1914 is no longer young. It all, this is 1967. It no longer has many years to, to run. Already many of its members have died, but Jesus showed that there would still be members of this generation alive at that time of passing away of this wicked system of things in both heaven and earth. And then goes on and explains that the end will be most likely in 1975, but we won't go there. Uh, but this is article to to show them. Uh, we can go now to Awake, Awake magazine, uh, and in Awake magazine, uh, from October 8, 1971, uh, on a page 14, we find article that is titled "The Greatest Pressure of All Times Begins." And then we read this, and then on a page 16, we find a little picture uh, right here. You see, it's a little picture here. And within one generation, the last days, 1914. That's the picture. And we read this, how long a period of time is covered by the last days, question. Jesus limited it at most to one generation, from beginning to end. This means that some persons who saw the beginning of the last days in 1914 would live to see the end. That end will come when God displays the, his almighty power to crush out of existence the prevailing wicked system of things. So again, this one shows and also uh, on the other page in here, there's a little thing and it also shows that in 1975, most likely something will happen. Um, uh, but um, uh, but uh, that's another subject. Uh, we go now to um, let's see. Um, oh, there there is another in, in the same in the same article in Awake from October 8, 1971, on a page 26 in the. Um, in the article uh, uh, titled Time of Rest and Refreshment at Hand. We read this. Um, we read this. Uh, Our generation will see the end of present pressure-ridden order. In fact, there is even good reason to hope that a new order of God's making may begin within the present decade. So they again predict that 1975 most likely is the, uh, or, or 1970s is the end of the time gonna happen. From the year 1914, uh, the pressure of on mankind have grown dramatically, building up uh, to near exploding point. As shown earlier in this issue, fulfilled Bible prophecy marks the year 1914 as the start of the foretold time of the end for the present stress-filled order. And they go on, uh, oh, but at the same time, it makes the generation then leaving a marked generation. So they they ex and they go on and, and explain that this generation they seen 1914 will never die because they will see the end of the time. Uh, so this is already 1971. 
that's the, their teaching. Now we go to um, now we go to Watchtower magazine from 1984, and 1984 they still were teaching this. And actually, in 1984, uh, in the May 15, 1984, Watchtower magazine had a cover page that looked like this. Watchtower, you see, 1914, the generation that will not pass away. This is the Watchtower magazine from May 1st, 1984. And then we go on the pretty much similar picture uh, on a page four, and we have um, we have an article that is titled "The 1914: The Generation That Will Never Pass Away." And on a page, uh, on, that was on a page four, but on a page seven we read this. G uh, Page six and seven, or what is that? Jehovah's prophetic word through Christ Jesus is this generation of 1914. This is what Jesus said, right? 1914 will by no means pass away until all things occur. And Jehovah, who is the source of inspired an unfailing prophecy will bring about the fulfillment of his son's words in a relative short time. And then they show picture, and the picture has a title, You, along with survivors of, this, of the generation of 1914, may live to see the new order. And they go on and say, the time of the end will be fulfilled within the life span of the generation of 1914. And they finish and say, yes, you may live to see this promised new order, along with survivors of the generation of 1914, the generation that will not pass away. This is from 1984 from May 15, Watchtower magazine. So they keep on teaching. They started to teach this in 1920. So this is 1984 now. Now let's go to um, this book. This is Reasoning from the Scripture. Also great book. I would suggest anyone who wants to witness to Jehovah Witness get this book. This is like a manual for Jehovah Witnesses to witness to not Jehovah Witnesses. And if you have this book, uh, you can get it on eBay, Goodwill, Amazon. Uh, this book will give you a lot of pointers what they actually, what their doctrines that they teach them are so you can actually be ready and explain the truth to them because those are all heresies and um, this book was actually printed in 1984 and then another print in 1989 and we have this from 1989 and on a page 234 says uh, in a paragraph called Last Days, we read this and it says, The present wicked system of things which extends worldwide entered its last days in 1914, and some of the generation alive then will also be on hand to witness its complete end in a great tribulation. So the generation of 1914 will see the Great Tribulation, the end of system. Now let's go also to Awake magazine. I don't know if you are aware, but for many years, starting from January 8, 1982, and ending, ending on October 22, 1995 95 this 
Awake magazine. On the very first back of the cover, and then later on a page number four, like next page after the, the back of the cover, had this paragraph for so many years, starting in January 8, 1982, and ending on October 22, 1995. So all Awake magazines in between those two dates have this, you can find it, and you read this, you see? This is what, this is this is the very first page. This is the very first page of this magazine, 1982. And right on on the back of this cover page, uh, we have this informations from publisher, and we have this uh, little paragraph that says why awake is published and it goes on explaining for a little bit and then goes this and says this most importantly this magazine builds confidence in a creator's promise of a peaceful and secure new order before the generation that saw the events of 1914 passes away. So, Awake magazine for so many years, until 1995, October 22, was last issue when they printed that this generation of 1914 will not pass away until they will see the end of time. So right after this, 1995, last printing of this, they changed their minds because they have new light. New light that's supposed to expand the old light, make it more bright. But instead, the new light showed that the old light was a false light. That's not what Bible talks about when it talks about getting new light, getting message more bright, more visible. And um, so we, we can find in, in Awake magazine, in, in, um, in volume from June 1st, 1997, we find this uh, in the questions from readers, okay, questions from readers, uh, this is from uh, June 1st, 1997, we find this question. Somebody wrote and, and they gave answer and we says this, and it says this. The Watchtower magazine. Oh no, I'm sorry. The, the Watchtower, which is the, the organization of November 1st. No, actually, yeah, they speak about Watchtower magazine, right? So, because this is yeah, this is also Watchtower, sorry. So, in Watchtower magazines, from June 1st, 1997, in questions from readers, on a page 28, we find this. The Watchtower of November 1st, 1995, uh, and uh, so let's go there first. Uh, from November 1995, November 1st, 1995, focuses on what Jesus said about this generation. As we read at Matthew 24, 34, does that mean that this, there is some question about whether God's kingdom was set up in heaven in 1914? So, they twisted this to explain different things. So 
here's this here's this uh, 19 uh, 1995 Watchtower magazine. Okay, uh, Watchtower magazine uh, in November first on a page ten. There is an article saved from a wicked generation, and it starts on page ten and then goes on and until page 15 and then on page 16 there's another uh, another uh, article a time of keeping awake uh, and this is like continuation explanation of this uh, until i don't know page 25 or something 22 in in 1995 november 1st in this magazine, they presented new light. They presented new light, and their light was not like this question here in 1997 asks, so it looks more natural, because they ask, uh, does that mean that there is some question about whether God's kingdom was set up in heaven in 1914? This is not about that. This is about prediction of this generation. Then now in this they answer in this um, in this question from the reader, after this question from the reader, they explain that this is not about the coming of Christ, because in this nobody can prove them wrong because that they stated that this is invisible coming of Christ. So they can play game on this and nobody can prove them wrong but this generation that will never pass away until the end would be already 116 years 100 what two year two years old uh, but counting that they at least 10 years old to be aware so they would have to be like 112 i don't think there's many left so they had to do something uh, so they now twisted this and changed the whole idea and they explain in this uh, in this 1997 question from reader they explain the article from 1995 that it was not about the coming of Christ but it was about what Jesus said that this generation but he meant a different thing now so this is not that this generation will not pass away until the end of the world of the system but this is about this generation meaning totally different thing and uh, if you want you can read it and this is their new teaching now this is what they start teaching now that this is not the old generation idea this is a new idea of, of, which totally totally contradicts the truths they the, the truth that they were teaching for starting in 19, 1920 till 95 so 75 years they were teaching lie after lie setting dates 1975 19 uh, there's so many dates of end of the world and they of course realize that you can only do so much until people start catching up so they realize they have to um, do something about it so so let's see what they finished this article here and uh, so this question from the reader when he asked is this about the 1914 coming of christ this is their final final sentence on the end of this article when they explained what this is all about that different kind of generation and now now they now they in this what i'm gonna read now is the the jews the thing that shows how twisted they are how how uh how untru untruthful how untrusty they are here we go so it ends here 
So the recent information in the Watchtower about this generation did not change our understanding of what occurred in 1914, meaning coming of Christ, but it did give us a clear grasp of Jesus' use of the term generation, helping us to see that his usage was no base for calculating or counting from 1914 how close to the end we are. So, for 75 years they were calculating and now and giving us dates and, and giving us frame of time and now they have a new light that contradicts what they were teaching for 75 years telling us that they're not supposed to do that they're not supposed to do that because that's wrong let me let me um, read for the end what the bible says about this kind of prophecies in of course in their in their bible in watchtower bible um, we can read that to them and in deuteronomy deuteronomy 18 verse 20 to 22 we read this about prophets however the prophet who presumes to speak in my name a word that I have not commanded him to speak, or who speaks in the name of other gods, that prophet must die. And in case you should say in your heart, how shall we know the word that Jehovah has not spoken? When the prophet speaks in the name of Jehovah and a word does not occur or come true, that is the word that Jehovah did not speak. With presumptuousness the prophet spoke it. You must not get frightened at him. He should die. Watchtower is a false, false cult, false religion that Jehovah Witnesses need Christ. They need Christ badly. If you know any Jehovah Witness, if you, or if any Jehovah Witness listens to me, please pray to God for a, for true light for true understanding of the truth read the Bible on your own you don't need watchtower to explain it to you you can see the truth without guidance from false prophets prophets that should die according to the word of God you shall not be afraid of them because their prophecies don't come true and because they don't come true they not come from God they are false prophets they come from false God from Satan so repent of your sins put your faith in Jesus Christ who is God not a God he is the God, a second person of the Trinity. I, I know that this is very hard for Jehovah Witnesses to understand because the, they are, you are doctrinated by Watchtower. You, your understanding is very much twisted. But open yourself up start searching start looking outside of the watchtower they are false prophets they they lead you to to destruction find truth 
in the Bible that is true word of God, not through the, their light, but through your own understanding. Start looking for for help from true believers, for true from true Christians. You can get the Bible commentaries. You can get Bible book, um, uh, Christian books that explain things that help you to understand. They don't in they don't try to box you in in a tunnel of understanding like like watchtower does to you you can start learning on your own you don't have to go through their own books because they are all heresies they are all twisted but start with this repent of your sins Put your faith in Jesus Christ alone. Trust Him to save you from your sins by paying for your sins by His blood. You are child of God who is precious to God. Start having relationship with him start re having relationship with jesus christ he wants you to come to him in repentance and faith in him if you do that sincerely in your heart god will seal you with holy spirit don't believe in this falsities of watchtower that only anointed ones is the hundred forty four thousand this is not what bible teaches these are false doctrines you can become a child of God. John 1.12 tells you this. You can become... Let, let's read John 1.12. Even from Watchtower Bible. From, from Jehovah Witness Bible. John 1.12. Let's, let's find this. This is very important verse. That, that should speak to you. Who... Who, who think that this is only for anointed ones? Uh, look, John John one twelve says this: Whoever, as many as did receive him, did you receive Jesus? Receive Jesus. So whoever, as many as did receive him, to them he gave authority. To become God's children because they were exercising faith in his name are you God's child without trusting Jesus Christ you cannot but if you are you are becoming God's child and only those who have God's who have Holy Spirit in them are those who are God's children you can be anointed by Holy Spirit you can be sealed by Holy Spirit don't believe that only 144,000 go to Romans go to Romans 8 in Romans 8 you can you can you can find it very plainly that if you are not a child of God if you're not sealed with Holy Spirit you are enemy of Christ Christ. don't be his enemy read read Romans 8 read read uh, Ephesians 1 13 which says you can be sealed by Holy Spirit those are those are very important paragraphs for you to read in the Bible because today you can be saved for eternity and your salvation can be secured if your faith is sincere Start reading Bible. Start looking outside of Watchtower because they are false teachers. If you like what I said, uh, subscribe to my um, account on, on, on YouTube or, or just simply on a search write my name Wojtek W. V-O-Y-T-E-K W is my first letter of my last name. 
and if you put on search on YouTube you can find a lot of videos or, or just subscribe to my name and and you will find a lot of videos that I recorded that explain false prophecies that explain the deity of Christ that explain uh, the old doctrines that are important for your salvation that are twisted by Watchtower and and don't believe me believe the Bible all that I said check with the Bible and you'll see you'll see how misled you are so don't wait repent of your sin trust Jesus Christ today pray for for giving you better understanding pray for enlightenment and then if you are sincere in your heart you will be saved and you will see the truth uh, they are great books they are great books that will teach you um, the, the depth of the understanding of Christianity uh, I would suggest to you get a book uh, this is a pretty thick book but this is book that has so much insight of true Christianity explain every doctrine of our faith this is systematic theology by Wayne Gruden systematic theology by Wayne Gruden you can also get uh, another awesome book that is uh, uh, right here and this is oops, so this is John Calvin the Institute of Christian religion this is another great book for all the doctrines of Christianity put on paper plainly explained and don't trust those books just read them and check if they what they say is that's what Bible says and you'll see this is exactly what the Bible says that's what those books teach just just that's for your help uh, you can you can also get a Bible commentary um, you know there is so many commentaries on the Bible if, if you uh, if you are interested in, 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 in studying Bible more deeply get a good commentary but but those two books that I gave you the systematic theology by Wayne Gruden and, and uh, John Calvin um, Institutes of Christian religion are books for starting for for starting to see the true understanding because like this book it will also explain the falsity of teachings of Jehovah Witnesses and, and you, you will be able to see comparing what the Bible teaches and what they teach and will be put side to side and you actually can decide for yourself what is the truth so this is not like pounding in you and you know telling you believe this or that they will just show you this is what they believe this is what they believe this is what another people believe and what do you think is the truth and this is what Bible says and, and you'll see comparison and, and then you can see the truth and don't believe that that um, this Bible the Watchtower Bible the newer translation is a good translation this is the worst translation ever this is twisted this is changed this is totally brutalized wounded Bible but it's still a Bible it's still a Bible even using this Bible you can see the truth so uh, but don't rely on this Be, get a, a, a Bible that is um, that is not twisted get a Bible you can get a King James Bible or you can get a great Bible uh, that is ESV um, ESV uh, which is English Standard Version this Bible is a awesome um, modern language Bible uh, I'm Polish English is my second language to me that was blessing because King James is very difficult language this Bible is 
awesome, easy to understand for me as a second language in English. So I would suggest get this Bible and start reading. You will see how twisted is New World Translation. And uh, if you like my video, like I said, subscribe, go to my uh, vid other videos, check them up, and you'll see um, how, how I explain uh, the other doctrines. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, subscribe to my account, uh, and um, I hope you you uh, you come to Christ. I, uh, I I pray that that you see the light, the true light. Thank you.